Very few people know this, but Walt Whitman was originally raised by wolves. He was later adopted by Mr. and Mrs. Whitman. Why, look, darling, that creature there looks absolutely feral. I think we should adopt him. He'd give us great insights into the world of nature. Oh, yes. And they took him home. So they locked Walt in his room and forced him to write poetry. I don't want to write poetry. I want to play baseball. You'll write poetry and you'll like it, son. That's when Walt wrote his first poem, Ode to Baseball. I'd like to play baseball. Father won't let me out of my room. I'd like to play baseball. Father won't let me out of my room. I'd like to play baseball. Followed quickly by a song of the rolling earth. The song is of the singer and comes back most to him. The teaching is to the teacher and comes back most to him. The murder is to the murderer and comes most back to him. The thief, the theft is to the thief and comes most back to him. <laughs> but they couldn't shake him of all his wolf-like qualities. Bad Walt! Bad Walt! <laughs> At the same time, Walt Whitman became very famous and very wealthy, and that attracted legal suits from his father, the original Father Wolf Nicholas, trying to gain custody of his son. Give me back my son! <laughs> But Walt chose to go with neither his wolf or human parents, and instead decided to wander through nature and become nature's great poet. What rivers are these? What forests and fruits are these? What are the mountains called that rise so high in the mists? What myriads of dwellings are they filled with dwellers? That works. 